All right, guys, so here is the test drive after the chrome chip that I've just uh, recently done. All right, so a uh, little information about the chip. Um, VTEC engagement has been lowered from, was it, 5,500 to now 4,500. So 4,500 is when VTEC will engage. Uh, red line has been uh, raised to 7500 rpm so now I can uh, uh, take the engine rpm all the way up to 7500 um, the stock uh, rpm is like uh, 6800 for a uh, D16 Y8 so we're gonna try to um, do uh, maybe a couple pulls and see how it compared to before by the way I'm just going off of um, my butt dyno um, it's never been on a dyno so I really can't give you statistical comparisons so once we get onto a straightaway I'll do uh, maybe a little pull to see, uh, see if there's uh, any difference in before before the chip Again, the chip is uh, simply a base map. I haven't had a chance to uh, put this on the dyno and completed a full dyno team. So uh, uh, keep that in mind. It's uh, still simply a base map. The gearing on uh, this car is uh, way, way longer than the gearing on my um, my other Civic. So it feels like, uh, to me, it feels like I, I stay in in the same gear for so much longer than I do when I drive my other Civic gears are so much shorter and, but that's good though because uh, it's good for NOS you try to have longer gears so that you can um, stay within your power, your power zone longer it feels good though I definitely feel a difference than before with the stock the Virgin P28 ECU
try a dig. See how this works. non-improvement so uh, yeah but in order for um, uh, as far as how it feels it does feel a little bit faster second gear pulls really nice 